Hi there, this is Kevin with CreativeOrange.com and today I'm here to talk about how to use your Canon speed lights to create amazing daylight looking portraits. Um, I don't know how many times you've gone into like a client's house and you want to get a daylight portrait of them and maybe they have some nice shears. The ones in our studio here are pretty thick. Um, but like today, it's really, really dark outside. There's not a lot of light coming through. Um, even though we have north light, there's just not a lot of light because it's overcast and raining. So you have two options in this situation. One is to bump your ISO way up. Okay, that brings in a whole bunch of other problems. You know, one being noise. So you always have to worry about, you know, is there gonna be too much noise? If they blow this up big? So the other option is to use your Canon speed light um, to, uh, create sunlight outside and shoot through the shears. So I'm gonna take you through the steps here on how easy this is to do. Um, you need to have some sort of way to trigger your flash. Uh, most Canon systems have it built in, but they're infrared sort of line of sight. So you're gonna probably need some sort of radio slave. Um, so we'll go through that here and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so you have your Canon speed light. I'm using this uh, 600EXRT. Um, it's their top of line flash. And then I'm going to use my speed light transmitter um, because it works really well together, these two flashes. But you can use radio poppers um, if you want. Just some way to wirelessly transmit. If you want to do a TTL, it's got to be like a radio popper or something like that or the uh, Canon system. Um, because like I said, the normal system before this, uh, the 600 series, uh, was all line of sight infrared. And if you can make that work with infrared, that'll be great, but it needs to be line of sight, so it's just easier with a radio system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take our flash and we're gonna stick it on a hot shoe. Nothing special here. It'll be a lot easier if I could actually um, tilt this, but I'm just gonna do it like this today. Um, so we're gonna stick it on here. We're gonna actually place this outside and we're gonna just shoot in TTL and it's actually gonna give us a proper exposure through our shears and you're gonna see for yourself just how easy this is. So let's go ahead and get it reset up here and let's get started. Okay, so here's the setup. We have the shears closed. You can already see it's quite a bit darker, okay? So we're gonna to have to bump our ISO way up. We're gonna take a meter reading without the flash now, okay, uh, in evaluative metering, okay, in manual. And let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, shutter speed aperture uh, combination we get. And here we go. Okay, so here I am. I'm shooting at 1.8. Okay, let me take a meter reading here. I am at, let's see, a hundredth of a second, okay, at f1.8 at 400 ISO. So let's take a look at this. And it's pretty good, but at 400 ISO, the noise shouldn't be too bad, but I'm shooting at a hundredth of a second. I probably don't want to do that. So now what I'm going to do is turn my flash on, okay? I'm going to bump my uh, shutter speed up to, let's say, 200th of a second. And let's go ahead, flash is on TTL, everything's the same, boom. And we get this really beautiful portrait of Essie. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see in these shots that the one that I set up with the strobe outside, it looks like a beautiful sunny day coming in. The other one you can tell it's this really murky, disgusting day outside. So just the quality of light and being able to place the sun basically coming through your shears wherever you want is just an amazing thing to really be able to control your light. And how much work did I do on that? Literally, how much work did I do? None, it's on TTL. I let the camera do what it needed to do um, and the flash do what it needed to do. I just got my initial setting. I knew I wanted to shoot wide open because I didn't want a background, okay? And then just set your camera on, set your flash on TTL and it's gonna give you everything that you need, okay? So it's that simple. We'll be right back. Okay, so this was just a little quick tip on showing you what your Canon flash system can do. Um, we're starting a new class here at the Creative Orange called, called Understanding Your Canon Flash. Um, we're gonna go through everything in this class. We're gonna go deep into the system. We're gonna take you from the basics, the first class, um, and just kind of go through everything show you, so that you know how your system works. And then by the end of the class, we're gonna be doing more advanced things with several, uh, several strobes. So, um, so I, I hope you enjoyed the tip. And uh, Kevin from CreativeBorgs.com, thanks, take care, bye-bye.